Well, I think that's a great question, and copyright is one of those areas that I think there's a lot of confusion about how it's attained and how, how one gets it and keeps it. And to address the second part of your question first with regard to the WGA, the WGA really has nothing to do with copyright protection at all. All it does is it gives you a date as to when your work is created. So if you submit your script to the WGA, let's say on December 5th, 2013, and somebody else creates a similar work after that date, you can use that WGA script that you've registered with them to say, no, look, I created this before you. But it really has nothing to do with copyright. It is a form of protection though, and it allows someone to know that I created this work before you created your work. Now, that leads to registration. Well, what does registration do for me? So registration is beneficial for a lot of reasons. One thing I typically advise my clients is not to register a script until it's done. Because one, you don't want it to be public before it's done. And two, it gets, can get confusing if there's a bunch of copies of the same script registered with the Copyright Office. So once your script is completed, you can register with the Copyright Office. And one of the main advantages of registering it is if there is a problem. So you have to register your script before you initiate a lawsuit. If somebody infringes on your script and you want to bring a lawsuit, but you have not yet registered it, you may not do so. So that registration is a requirement for bringing a lawsuit. And it also, if you register it in a timely manner, you are eligible to receive both statutory damages, which means you don't have to prove there was actual damages. You just get an actual fixed amount based on what the infringement was. And those statutory damages range from $750 for kind of a negligent infringement to up to $150,000 per infringement if it's willful. It also allows you to recoup attorney's fees, which can be very, very, very expensive if you're in a copyright litigation. So the timely registration of your script is important, but it doesn't actually give you the copyright. The copyright you get right away the minute you put your pen to paper.